It might at first look normal, but something very odd is happening on this Scottish road. These cyclists are having to pedal hard to go down a hill. And this cyclist is coasting up the hill. And look at this car. The driver stops, puts the car into neutral, and it starts to roll up the hill. There's conspiracy theories where there's magnets hidden behind the bushes and stuff. <laughs> But no one really knows now. <laughs> they said that the road was uh, cursed along these people. My papa used to tell me that, that it was an old witch tale, that an unknown force that was pulling you the other way. Possibly gravity op operates different in this part of the earth. This road confuses everyone who uses it. We've asked road surveyor Chris English to investigate. He's brought along a mystery-busting piece of equipment known as a theodolite, and he's going to do some measurements. OK, that's 89.4. Observation story. OK, on to the next one, please. The results are completely unexpected. Observation story. This looks like the top of the hill, right? And this looks like the bottom. Wrong. It's the other way around, actually. Chris's measurements show that this point is 292 feet above sea level, and this one is 303 feet. The ground level actually gets higher on my records. It may not show that, but that's actually what takes place. So, does Chris know what's going on? Absolutely no idea. Thankfully, psychologist Dr. Rob McIntosh thinks he has the answer. Relatively speaking, this goes downhill with respect to the surrounding landscape that we're standing in. But if we could get a wide enough perspective on this, we'd see that we're standing within a tilted landmass. The whole landscape tilts this way, and the road tilts in the same direction, but by a smaller amount. So the relative slope appears to go this way. So we're not going insane. It's just one giant optical illusion. The landscape is playing tricks on us. So here's the car, and it's clearly rolling up the hill with respect to the surrounding frame, but not with respect to true gravity. These optical illusions fool us because we rely too much on our eyes and don't listen to our other senses. <laughs> 